All right, new game. Let's see how we do. Good kicker from us. We're just gonna jump up here, block the angle. Uh, we're probably gonna take that as a corner. We're not gonna commit. We're gonna look at his car, see where he's going. Uh, okay, we have to wait here. He definitely has the ball way over flick, so we're gonna watch out, make sure we don't get demoed. We're gonna flick that around him, and that should be a goal, unless you miss. Which you do. But it's fine. So yeah, just keeping eyes on the opponent there was uh, quite crucial in making sure we knew exactly what balls we could go for and what we couldn't. Not a great, uh, not the greatest kickoff, so we just get the pads. All right, balls on the ground, we can challenge. Oh, that's fantastic from him. And try get it back. And there we go. That was really good what he did. So he just created a cushion there, and he did that with like the perfect spacing because I literally couldn't tell that he was doing that. It looked like he was right behind the ball. For me, I'm gonna go on that. Might as well use the boost, and then that in there is gonna save that probably. Never mind. Not a good shot for me, but it was just I had just enough power on it. Sorry, that's my bad. My uh, <laughs> I just fucked up my kickoff uh, mechanics there. So we're not going to dive in the corner. There's no point. It's going to be us with the ball. Might as well wait on the goal line, force a save, or force a shot and get the save. Uh, I'm just going to wait. Might as well get a touch there, and then we're going to side flip that. It's going to charge. There we go. And just like that, quick forfeit. He's not happy. The reason why he's going to charge is because instinct and also the fact that he had a big turn and then started driving towards the ball, uh, full beasting. Good chance he's going to dive on that. 60 hertz pro gamer. What an absolute legend. A good kickoff. Good kickoff from us. We're just going to get this boost. Get the ball here. We're just going to stay behind the ball here. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to jump. To force 50. We're going to boost here. We're going to fake that. Give us some time on the ball. Bad touch, so we're just going to have to 50 this. That's fine, we can get this boost. Well, on the wall here, we're just going to drift. Bring the ball that back down. We're going to cut into that ball, try to get it around him. There we go, hits the wall, and that is a goal. Alright, good kick off, we managed to direct that into the back right corner, which is good. We're going to try to get this boost, we're going to backflip here. Now we have to wait because he's got the ball here. Now we're going to have to double jump to cover the high flick. He's got absolutely zero, demo him, but no, demos do not work anymore. So, we're just going to have to uh, pick up the boost pads. We're going to get this boost on the right hand side, and then we're going to get back into our shadow position. We're going to show him the other side of the pitch, and then we're going to double jump over his air drill bomb attempt. Pick up the boost, pick up the ball, I'm going to side flip that. We're going to fly back down, we're going to fake going for that. Oh, he, he did not buy it all, well played. Okay, I should not have flipped that, bad mistake from us. Don't do what I just did, that's the second time I've done that in the last two episodes. Don't flip back like this, because it puts you out of position. Now that's too far away, and now it just made the save pretty awkward. Just drive back and collect pads down the middle of the pitch. Oh, we're going to jump in, uh, jump into that ball. We're just going to fly back down there. Uh, we're not going to dive into that corner. Don't do that. So that's overextending. He's missed that boost, which is nice. At the top of the bounce, we're going to flick to counter the early challenge. Why did I know that? Because I had eyes on him the whole time. I wasn't even looking at the ball. You can use your peripheral vision to see the ball, but just look at him. You can see him driving forward. So you can um, hit that over. Okay, not the best kickoff, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to get this back boost. I want to get closer to the player here. We're way too far away. Uh, he predicted the early chance. We're going to watch him. He's going to dive in for that ball. Uh, we're not going to go for that. Oh, good bump from him. Managed to somehow survive that, though, which is all good. We're going to cut into that ball. Oh, I saw the early chance coming. I wanted to try to hit it around him there, but I didn't do a enough, good enough job. And then he's done a me, which is nice for once. Not the only ones missing up in it, so I'm going to cut into that ball. Not enough cuttage on that. Oh, it's all good. We're going to side flip back into that. Oh, that 
that boost not spawn, and then he's done well by leaving the boost, or leaving the ball and going all the way back. I thought he was going to try cut it there. I was just going to jump up here, we're going to air roll around and see if we can get, hit that into the post, but not quite. It was close though. Okay, so not very ideal. We're going to go up for this. Recover quickly. Well, as quick as we can anyway. We're going to cut into that ball. Going to get this boost. We're going to jump up here. Block the angle completely and then straight down the middle. Let's see if that's quick enough. Not quite. I'm going to turn on this ball hit. Get a 50. That is fine. He's bumped us into position, which he didn't even mean to do. We're going to fake a challenge. Get him to do something. He's going to take our boost, but that's fine. On the backboard here, we're just going to side flip to the right. He's going to take a touch. Uh, again, back wall. Oh, good shot. Perfect shot into the corner. That was a little bit slow there. Okay, I'm going to see if I can... Oh, not quite. Oh, well played. Got a bit lucky there that he bumped us back. And I thought I was going to dump over him, but I ended up driving into him, which is not ideal. Unfortunate. The demo was coming. I mean, you could literally hear me jumping, and the car was just sticking to the wall. So, not much you can do there. I'm just going to jump to avoid the demo. I'm just going to ball carry here. I'm going to flick that. Good save from him. Well played to avoid the demo. We're going to just get 50. We're going to wave dash it, and then we're going to flip to the right. We're going to get this boost. Avoid the demo. I'm going to backflip there. Try to catch him off guard. Oh, well played again by uh, watching the demo. I'm going to take a touch there, and I'm going to go in that straight away. Just getting the ball moving, really. I'm going to go for a demo on him here. Oh, I couldn't get it, unfortunately. He's, he's wise to the bumps in demos, I'm not going to lie. He's wise to them. Okay. So we're going to go for a lateral, oh never mind, we're going to 50 that instead, this is a bit too close. We're going to get this boost and tie demo him, we couldn't. We're going to front flip into that, he wins that 50 with the pre flip, which is impressive. We're going to get this mid boost, so now he has to go all the way back. We're going to lateral dribble with the flick, we're going to get a 50. I've been bumped again, not ideal, so now we don't have the ball anymore, and I can't really dive. But he's just wasting time with the clock here. So that, yeah, that's probably the game right there. Let's see what we can do. We just have to go for everything now. Side flip that off the wall. And we're going to put that in. So I guess that works. Gives us a chance. I saw I didn't get bumped there. I think I must have jumped at the perfect time. Unintentionally. I'm gonna get the ball here. Keep the ball with us. Okay, no mechanics, so I can't really do that. But we're gonna beat into that ball there, which works. I'm gonna put that in. You can see what I was trying there. I was trying to go for an air dribble. And I realised shit, can't do that. So <laughs> I just gonna go straight back down. But he decided to dive from the back court, which is not ideal, and we could therefore pop it over him. Solid kickoff. We're not going to go for this. We're just going to make him hit the ball there. Alright. Good kickoff from him. That's not in. We can just get the save. Side flip into the crease, make sure we get it. I'm going to go on that touch. Oh, that's a horrible touch. Gives him the ball. You're going to go on uh, for a play here. See what he does. Not in. I'm going to slide flip that. I'm going to have to watch the demo. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to double jump. Go for an edge or bump here. And that is the goal. That is the game. So uh, yeah, that's the first aerial bump of the uh, of the series. But um, again, it's not actually for GC3 now because we're in GC3. People can definitely aerial bump now. So 
And once again, like, that air jump bump wasn't kind of cool. I didn't even air all into it. We've got Evan Bay again, so we'll see how we do. I'm not going to go for that ball because there's no way I'm going to get anything productive done. Oh, well played. That's a really good shot selection. So, I thought he was just going to go in field, but he actually cut back towards the other side, which is a, a really good thing to do. Well played. I swapped sides on my kickoff there last second, but I chose the wrong side, apparently. I can't go for that, because he was probably going to bump me, or make the save. I'm going to cut into this wall here. Try demo here. And we cut our fantastic spawn. So we're going to get this piece. Hit that ball up. Um, right, we're going to go for a flick here. Good save. Alright, so we're just going to take in the ball into the back corner here. Jump off the wall, side flip, boost a little bit to keep momentum, and now we're, into, and now we're in the play. And we're just going to side flip that in. Bad touch from him. I'm sure he knows it. He did not want to hit that ball into the middle there. He probably just wanted to take it back. And yeah, just nicked it, unfortunately. Uh, not the best kick of it. I'm gonna wait. He's gone up for that, which is surprising. He should not have done that. He's now that's just giving us a straight goal. He had like loads and loads of time to take the ball. There was no way I was gonna go for a ball like that because it was way too awkward. If it was because it was going towards my net, that's why it was awkward. I had to backtrack me at least. We kick off from us. We're just gonna get this side piece. We're gonna take a touch off the wall, and we're just gonna shoot on the bounce. Lots of power on that, beautiful. So we'll have to see. Good kick off from us again. So we're just going to take the ball, we're going to slide it back into the wall. We're not going to go off the wall here, we're just going to take a touch off. And on the bounce, we're going to shoot. We're just going to force him back here, see if he makes any mistakes, which is exactly what he does. Force the bad save, get a goal. There we go. Alright then, so a decent kick off there. We're going to cut into that ball. Ah, oh, lucky. We wanted to try and get that into the wall. We managed to jump up and just get in the way of that before he could double touch that, which is ideal. We're going to go up on the wall here to try and like bait him out of not doing it himself. Get a touch, make sure it bounces. Right, I'm going to leave that and just go for the boost. Now we're going to get, get a touch into him. We're going to flick that over him. See what he does. Fake a challenge there, make him panic a little bit. We're going to drift. We're going to fake that. Right, we want to flick this hit. We know he's on absolutely zero, so just might as well keep starving him. We're going to take a touch there from the wall. We're just going to fake the backflip. Then we're going to cut into that straight away. We're going to back off it. He's going to keep backing off it, so I'm going to create an angle. Then we're going to shoot from the angle. And it's a perfect shot again. Top corner. Well, not top corner, but bar down. Okay, I don't think he can get up again. Oh, never mind. So on the bounce, we're just going to hit that. Get some height, get some distance. See what he's going to do. He's going to go for that, that's for sure. Okay, that's a really good. That's really good what we did. So we know he's going to go for that because he was 5-1 down and he has to get something going. But he thought we were going to go all the way back. But that's why you don't go all the way back. You need to make sure you can stay relevant for as long as you can in every other play. Because we were close enough, we didn't go all the way back to get a boost, or don't, we didn't go all the way back to the goal line. We were close enough where we could challenge um, just before he gets set up with his attack. Because he wanted to take a first touch because he thought we were going back, but we didn't. Don't take yourself out the game if you can. You want to be as close to your opponent as you can while being able to accelerate if you need to, if they accelerate, or challenge if you need to, if there's a chance for you to challenge before they can get their attack going. That is uh, that is all from me, GGs, and uh, see you in a bit.